brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Acting DOC Director Frank Ishizaki has been on the job for two weeks. He said he's still assessing and will soon hear concerns and issues from officers at the prison. But first things first, we asked the new director if he felt a state of emergency needed to be declared at DOC. Well, we have a crisis to deal with, and, and whether you declare emergency or not, it's the same, same challenges. Uh, there are some benefits to a declaration of emergency, but, but uh, you know, the governor's got the attention that we need, and, and, uh, and that's really what we need to drive it. And because she's committed to, uh, like, additional recruitment and improvements, uh, I'm not sure we need an emergency declaration. While well, the director said he's working with the Department of Administration to expedite the hiring of 40 corrections officers, Ishizaki said more needs to be done to restore programs that help empower inmates for release back into society. He said with perennial budget shortchanging at the prison, it's become a choice between security and self-improvement for inmates. The first cut has been programs. Programs would be like treatment programs, like uh, sexual um, sexual abuse and uh, anger management, drug abuse. Those are some some of the common programs that we've had years past, and we we don't we don't do them today. And I think that helps prepare people. But in addition to that, we got caseworkers who do uh, assessments and counseling, and, um, and 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 prep people for release. So if we can prep them better for release, and then we get uh, more parole officers to supervise them outside of the correctional facility, I, I believe we'll have a better chance of reducing recidivism. And that's the end goal. If if we don't address recidivism. Uh, we're just going to keep growing our population, and I don't think that's what we want. A month ago, DOC staff were releasing anonymous letters to the media about their concerns with former director Samantha Brennan's leadership. We asked Ishizaki how far the atmosphere and climate at Corrections has come under his watch. I really don't know. I, you know, I, I've been too busy doing other things, and uh, uh, it, I, the sense is that I'm hearing it's better, but I, I really, I really can't comment on it. I don't know. The governor took the time to meet uh, our employees and listened and she has a, a, a list of things that she's promised to do and we're, we're executing those but I'm also adding to that list. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.